Thank you very much. I'm Malcolm Grant. I'm the chairman of the board of NHS England, and I just wanted to say a few words on behalf of the board. The board, by the way, is comprised of some of the most outstanding, intelligent, and brilliant people you could ever possibly imagine. Uh, but actually, they're also human beings. Uh, surprising though that may be also human beings, but with the vulnerabilities and fears and concerns that human beings have, and also experiences of the NHS both themselves as patients, but also uh, through families, through friends, and through others who have been through serious illnesses. And one of the wonderful things about the NHS is that I believe it's one of the greatest social institutions in the world, if not the greatest social institution in the world. But the problem with that statement is institution. Institutions develop cultures, they develop ways of doing things, which are sometimes very difficult to change. The NHS as an institution is great on acute instances of ill health and, and intervention and using high tech and science. But most of what we've heard today is about long-term conditions uh, and about the ability of an institution to be able to change in order to prevent, to anticipate and to work through a life course with individuals. And that for me is the big message to take back to the board. The talk about co-production mirrors very much what we were talking about at a board meeting on Friday. Uh, our statutory obligation is to consult. Well, consult in many instances means telling people uh, what we're about to do uh, and then not listening and going ahead and doing it. But the discussions that we've had today are much more profound than that. And so many of them are generic across all of these conditions uh, about holistic care, uh, about the realities of a lived environment of ill health. And it's miles away from the cash-strapped, struggling NHS that's so often portrayed in the media. And yet throughout it runs a thin skein and a great strength of care, of compassion, uh, and of really understanding the needs of individuals. So what today has done, I think, for the members of the board is to bring us with you face-to-face -to, -face to the live experience of the NHS. But to take back from it just two things. First... I think a strong commitment on the part of the board that what we have heard will influence what we do, but also a strong commitment from you that what we're doing is working on this together. In other words, this isn't an institution, it's a movement, and this is a model of, of co-production. Your energy and your insight is, is vital to us to achieve it. So in closing, what I'd like to do is offer thanks I'd like to thank everybody who's made this possible. I think, by the way, the graphic artists have done a phenomenal job. Uh, so a particular thanks to you. Thank you. And, um, and, 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 you know, the, the audiovisual team, um, I think not just for actually allowing us to observe what's been going on, but uh, to be able to live stream this to a wider audience and to capture it for future. So many thanks to the audiovisual team. There are... There are far too many people to thank, but I'd like to single out, uh, just for the sake of pointing them out, Olivia, Leslie, of course, uh, Simon uh, and Camilla, but behind them stands a huge army of people who have planned this event meticulously and who have been the linkage between earlier NHS Citizens events and this one and future ones. But then most important people, obviously, are those who have assembled in this room and those who have participated uh, through the live stream uh, to you, we owe a great deal, and from you, we take home many lessons. So thank you very much for taking the time and effort to help us today. Thank you.